In this video, we solve a practical problem related to fluid mechanics fundamentals, laminar flow. We need to calculate the force required to enable a plate to travel at certain speed. And we would use Newton's law of viscosity to solve this problem. Let's consider setup for our problem. We have two plates. The low plate is fixed and the upper plate that is not fixed. The distance between two plates is L. The space between plates is filled with fluid. The upper plate travels at velocity U. Since we have laminar flow, velocity profile across two plates is linear and it changes from zero on the low plate to U on the upper plate. We define coordinate system for our problem as follows. Vertical axis as y and horizontal axis as u. And we need to calculate the force required to enable the upper plate to travel at speed u. Let's consider two layers, layer 1 and layer 2. They are adjoining layers, although for the sake of clarity, I show them slightly separated. The layer 1 tends to move faster. And this layer tends to speed up layer 2 by means of force F that acts on layer 2. And by the same time, layer 2 tends to slow down the layer 1 by means of the same force equal in magnitude but opposite direction as per Newton's law number 3. And therefore, if the force F acts over an area in contact, which is A, the shear stress is given by the ratio of this force that acts between two layers by, divided by the area of contact, A. And Newton postulated that for the straight and parallel motion of a given fluid, the shear stress between two adjoining layers is proportional to velocity gradient in the direction that would be perpendicular to the layers. And mathematically, this is shown as shown in this equation on this slide. So shear stress is equal proportionality coefficient, which is dynamic viscosity, multiplied by velocity gradient in the direction perpendicular to the layers, which is our vertical direction y. So let's solve the problem. But before we do this, I would like to ask you, if you find this video useful, please like the video and subscribe to my channel. Let's start. In this problem, we have three plates. The gaps between the plates are filled with water. Assuming laminar flow, we need to calculate the force required to enable the middle plate to travel at 40 cm per second. Since we have laminar flow, it means that the velocity distribution between the middle plate and the upper plate is linear, as well as velocity distribution between the low plate and middle plate is linear as well. So velocity changes from zero on the low plate and upper plate to maximum velocity of 40 centimeters per second on both sides of the middle plate. The force on both sides of the middle plate would be the same because it's the same distance between the plates, 20 millimeters, and also the fluid is the same. So let's concentrate on one side. And we will use Newton's law of viscosity to calculate the shear stress. And Newton's law of viscosity is the shear stress is equal dynamic viscosity multiplied by velocity gradient. So du over dy. So velocity gradient or how velocity changes between the middle plate and low plate and between the middle plate and upper plate. So let's calculate 
the force on one side of the plate. And since we can calculate the shear stress, therefore we can calculate the force from shear stress. We know that the shear stress is equal force divided by area where this force acts. Therefore, from here we can calculate force is equal shear stress multiplied by area. So it would be the surface area of the middle plate, which is 20 centimeters multiplied by 30 centimeters. And this would be on one side only. Therefore, to calculate the total force, we need to take into account two sides. Therefore, F total would be equal to multiplied by F where F with no index is the force on one side of the middle plate. I will repeat the Newton's law of viscosity from previous slide. So the shear stress is equal dynamic viscosity multiplied by velocity gradient. Since we have laminar flow between the plates, we know that for laminar flow, the velocity profile between the plates is linear and velocity changes from zero on the low plate and top plate to 40 centimeters per second on both sides of the middle plate. Therefore, for linear velocity profile, the velocity gradient can be determined as follows. So du over dy is equal change of velocity between the plates delta u divided by the distance between the plates and distance between the plates is l and equal to 20 millimeters on both sides of the middle plate therefore it's equal 40 centimeters per second minus zero divided by 20 millimeters we need to convert all numbers into si units all values. Therefore, 40 centimeters per second, it's 0.4 minus 0 meters per second divided by 0 0.02 meters. Meters will cancel, therefore we have velocity gradient equal 21 divided by second units for velocity gradient or second in power minus 1. Therefore, now we can calculate the shear stress on the plane or one side of the middle plate. And this shear stress is equal Newton's law of viscosity, which is I show here. Therefore, we can write that the shear stress is equal. Dynamic viscosity is given and dynamic viscosity is given in SI units, Pascal multiplied by second. So we need, don't need to convert. So it would be 8 multiplied by 10 and power 4, minus 4. And now multiply by velocity gradient, 20, 1 divided by seconds. Therefore, the shear stress is equal to 0.016 one six newton p meter square or point zero one six pascal and now we can calculate the total force and the total force is equal the shear stress on one side multiplied by this area on one side and multiplied by two because we have two sides Therefore, it would be equal 0 0.016 multiplied by area, which is 20 centimeters multiplied by 30 centimeters. So 0 0.2 multiplied by 0 0.3 and multiply by 2. And this would be equal 1.92 multiplied by 10 in power minus 3 Newton. I hope you find this video useful. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.